material things have been entrusted to you by God. And it's important for us to think about how do you view those things. What's your understanding of what they are, and what is your understanding of what you are called to do with them? To me, this is a really, really important thing. Because when you are entrusted with something that you understand fundamentally isn't yours, it changes things. Think about some of the parables that Jesus told when somebody like entrusts one of their workers or entrusts a child with some of their possessions, some of their wealth, some of their inheritance, or some of their possessions, and trust them to use them wisely. You see that often it changes how this person views what they're going to do. It's like, hey, I want, I want to do right by whoever it is that gave this to me. Think of it this way. Like if, if you've ever been in a position where you are set to resume control, say, like of a trust or of money that has been designated for certain purposes, does it change how you view that? That Do you think about, I want to make sure that we're honoring the intent of what this was given to me to do. That's a really, really big responsibility that you're given that you should think about is, am I honoring the intent for what this was set, set up to do? If you are responsible for a foundation, if you're responsible for an organization, do you think about, am I doing the best that I can do to carry on what this organization, what this mission, what this thing is all about? Because it makes a big, big difference in how we react and respond to things. Because what it does, it gets us thinking less about ourselves. It gives us thinking more about others. And ultimately, it gives God to work in things. So let's just kind of think about this in some practical terms here for just a minute. When you think about the stuff that you have, when you think about the things that you possess, whatever it is, however much it is, it doesn't really matter, do you view those things is not only for your provision to provide for your family, but also as an opportunity to bless others. Because here's the thing, and I want to be clear on this. It isn't bad to have things. It isn't bad to have a house or a car or a boat or any of those things. That's not bad and it's not wrong. But if our motivation is only to get stuff for ourselves and we miss the stewardship aspect of it, if we miss the opportunities that we have to bless others, to give to others, to support and to care for others, then we really are missing the intent of what those things were meant to do. So how do you view the stuff they have? Do you think of it in that way? That not only can I provide for myself, for my family, for friends, but I can also then do this for others. I can bless others in this way. I can give to this organization. I can support this cause, whatever it is. Think a little bit about the gifts and the talents that you have. Do you view those as things to only use for yourself? Do you view those as things that are only there for your own gain, for your own recognition, for your own growth? Or do you see them in a way that you can use them for others? And we heard Pastor Rob talk about this a little bit to Hope and Kay this morning. He talked about some of the gifts that he's observed in them. He talked about some of the gifts and the talents that they have. And you heard him talk about this same principle. That's not just about them. That is how do you use these to influence others? How do you use these to care for others? How do you use these to love others? How do you use these gifts to point others towards Christ? Because here's the thing. If we just leave this all to ourselves and we just leave it all to our own heart, if we leave it only to our own wisdom, we're probably not going to be as willing to go down the path that God might want us to go with us. But if we allow God, if we allow the Holy Spirit to shape and to guide how we view our possessions, if we allow God and the Holy Spirit to shape and guide the decisions that we make, that's when we begin to see the change. That's when we begin to see how we view stuff change. Because here's the thing. Did you notice kind of the catch in the story here? This farmer was already rich. He didn't need more stuff. He already had it. And then when he was given more, instead of thinking, man, now I can just give incredibly generously. Now I can just go and I can take care of all this stuff. He didn't do that. He focused on himself. 
So for you, I want you to think about this. Because we all have an abundance of something. Now you may be thinking, well, I, I, I don't have an abundance of possessions. Like, yeah, I, I have enough. I, I don't have a surplus. But you do have an abundance of something. Maybe you are rich in compassion. Maybe you're rich in hospitality. Maybe you're rich in encouragement or leadership or discernment. Maybe it is financially. Maybe it is in other ways. I want you to think about where are you rich? Where do you have abundance? Where do you see yourself having extra that God has given you? And then do you see and understand that that's not just for you? That is for God to use in you and through you to bless others. Because that's really what stewardship is about. It's about making the best use of the things that we have for the honor and glory of God and to be able to bless our friends, our family, and our community. But that takes work. It's not easy. It takes discipline and it takes discernment to know how to best do this. So I just want to encourage you with this this morning. How can you use what you have to bless people? I want you just to think, what's one thing I can do today? What's one thing I can do with whatever it is that I have, whatever it is that I see myself having an abundance of, how can I do something today to bless somebody with that? And then just commit to do it. Be able to share it with somebody. Share it with someone else in your family. Share it with a friend. Share it with a family member. Say, this is what I'm going to do. Here's something I want to do today. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to write a card to somebody. I'm going to make a phone call. I'm going to go and I'm going to stop by and I'm going to visit this person. I'm going to commit and I'm going to, I'm going to go and I'm going to serve on this board. I'm going, to, I'm going to commit to use my gifts and my talents to help bless this organization. I'm going to help support this financially. Whatever it might be, this is the life that God has called us. God has called us to view all the things that we have that we are simply entrusted as we're simply stewards of, the, of this. We're caretakers of this. To use everything that we have in the best way that we can to bring honor and glory to God. Would you pray with me? God, we thank you, God, that you, you desire to bless. God, you desire to work in and through our lives, God, to, to bless others. So God, may we view all the things that we have as just simply things, God, that we have been entrusted with to use to bless others, to not only just provide for ourselves and our families, God, but to share your love and your grace with others, Lord. So God, may you give us wisdom to know how to do that. God, may you give us courage to do that. God, may you give us an extra measure, God, of your spirit to know how you are calling us to be stewards of all that you've blessed us with, Lord, for your honor and your glory. We pray so in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Would you stand with me for a closing song?
So as we go this morning, receive this blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. And may the Lord lift up his presence upon you and give you his peace. Amen. Go in peace.